For those of you that have been around a while, you may remember when we made this leather top hat. In this video, we're going to finish this project by making a hat band. So let's get started. Obviously, we need a strip of leather for the band. This is custom to the hat, so this one's going to measure 25 inches by 2.5 inches. Feel free to convert that to metric if you'd like. At each end, I'm going to be doing lacing to hold it together. For that, we'll be installing eyelets equally spaced. And this here is the basic layout of the idea I have for the band itself. By the way, these rings look a little rough because they were recovered from an old double end bag that I had. Always be on the lookout for hardware that you can reuse. So I took all the measurements from the front of the band and marked them in pencil on the reverse side. Then I punched in all the holes and made small straps to hold the rings in place. Everything is under die and the edges are finished. Time to start assembling this thing. I test fit the rings first and then custom cut and re-punch each strap. Now they fit perfectly. I also decided to add this oval shield behind the skull, dyed oxblood, for contrast. I was going to do a filigree cut on that part of the band, but I was concerned about it getting too bulky with the leather that I had on hand. With all the test fitting done and last minute alterations made, we can finally put this thing together. We start by setting the eyelets. Then we set the rings in place with the straps and the spikes. Now it's just a matter of setting the rest of the spikes. We sew on the oval shield, set the skull concho, and we are essentially done. At each end of the strap we do our leather lacing and hold it in place with this leather slide lock. That'll avoid having to tie an unsightly knot on the back of the hat. Let's get into some better light and I'll show you the final project. And that's it. Our leather top hat now has a hat band that is both unique and somewhat subtle at the same time. Hopefully this video gave you some ideas for your leather craft projects. If it did, how about you give me some of that thumbs up love, consider subscribing, and leave a comment below with some ideas or potential suggestions for future videos. Thanks for watching. And maybe, just maybe, I'll see you on the next video. If you enjoy videos about the randomness of our amazing world, consider clicking on the globe to subscribe. Or maybe checking out one of the other videos right here.